I, my name is Bill Budge and this is my wife Lorraine. Hi. Um, the reason we're here tonight is that for a number of years uh, the Scottish Community Foundation have run our charitable trust called the Budge Trust. I think we always wanted to do something, we weren't probably quite sure how and then suddenly something just grabs you and you know people say why do you choose this particular project quite often the project just chooses you you have no choice and then you have to find a way to make it happen and that's exactly what, what we did through yeah. our link with the SDF we, we have the criteria of it's the health well-being and education of young people and children but as I said earlier that every so often something just doesn't fit and we might find a tenuous link or we just think forget it, we'll, we'll, we'll sponsor it anyway or support it anyway. But lots of things. Um, one of our big projects is a school in Uganda. Um, we've also supported the National Trust with a play park um, just outside Forest. And Yeah, and I think the other thing we appreciate is it doesn't always have to be large sums of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, the National Trust and the Uganda school projects, they are, large, are very capital intensive, but it's amazing in some places that 150, 200 pounds can make a huge difference to somebody who's working so hard and has no idea how they're going to get the funding for next week's school lunches. My wife, uh, two years ago, went to the school in Uganda and promised she'd bring back the whole family. And that she did this year. And we have two sons, one's 24 and one's 21. And the effect upon them, and I've got to be honest myself, was just incredible. Um, our children have agreed that they will continue supporting that school throughout their life and we're pretty sure that when they have children they'll do the same because we also think that philanthropy is one of these things that's inherited that if you, if you can teach children about philanthropy they will think in a philanthropic way so we think that it's a very positive way going forward. But already they're involved in our decision making. So for example, when we were out in Uganda, they had some amazing thoughts and ideas that we'd never even pursued. Um, and they spot charities that perhaps we're not quite so aware of, being that younger generation. And they also probably are happier to talk about it through Facebook, um, social networking sites that, that Bill and I aren't perhaps so quite up to date with. Success is a smile on a child's face. I would say follow your instinct, follow your heart to a degree. If you're passionate about something, let it lead you, but also take good sound advice. You know, it, it's still, I don't want to say in a business sense, but you've got to listen to advice. Talk to other people who are doing something similar. Listen to the SCF, people that can give advice. Um, but generally, if you think it's worth supporting, I would say go for it.